everyone and welcome back to another video. So today's video as you can see from the title is a book haul. I have accumulated a few books. I'm very very excited to show these to you. So I decided to wait until my last book order came in. So I'm going to start with the first books I bought. I got these ones from Tesco. So the first book I picked up is A Dog's Purpose by W. Bruce Cameron. I'm sorry if you can't really see the cover. It's quite bright out. It's never really had this before. Like this issue with lighting before. And I haven't changed any settings on the camera but so I'm sorry if it's kind of glary. But yeah, so I really want to read this. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it. Just what it says on the back. And I'm not going to go into too much detail due to how many books I do have. So yeah, so this is the first one I picked up. The second one I picked up, Anna Kendrick's book, Scrappy Little Nobody. I love Anna so much. She is one of my favourite actresses. I wanted to read this. I want to try and read more books like this. So there are a few on my list. And I'm excited to read this. The next books I picked up, I had heard a lot about this author. I had good things about this series. And they had the whole series for £6 and I was like, it's worth it, I'm going to do it. And that is The Young Elites. And that includes The Young Elites, The Rose Society, and The Midnight Star. The next book I got on a buy one, get one half price is Spellbook of the Lost and Found by M Moira Fowley Doyle. Again, I picked this up because I like the cover. I kind of do that with books. I look at the cover and then I read the back. If I like the cover or the spine, that's the reason I'll read the back. Yeah, again, not going to go into too much detail as I only know what's on the back, but I am really excited to read this. See, I got this one from Waterstones and I got two other books from WH Smith, but this next book is also in the WH Smith ones, which I'll explain. And you might already know, but that is Girlhood by Cat Clark, which was on the Buy One Go and Half Price as well. Again, I don't know anything besides what's on the back, but I'm very excited to read this. I like the cover. But this is part of the Zoella Book Club, however, this was from Waterstones. Moving on to the Zoella Book Club books I picked up. Besides Girlhood, um, I picked up Orbiting Jupiter. I have already taken the sticker off for the the Zoella Book Club. I will take it off the other one as well. The next book I picked up out of the Zoella Book Club books is Moxie by Jennifer Matthew. Again, I only know what Zoe said about it and it sounded so interesting and the cover is amazing. It definitely just seems like a book that I'm going to very much enjoy. The next book is one I've not, I don't know anything about besides what's on the back again. I've never seen it advertised and what drew me to it was the spine and then when I saw the cover I was mesmerised by it it's absolutely beautiful and it just sounds so amazing for this one I will read the back because I don't know it just it needs to be explained and that is Showstopper by Hayley Barker it's actually shining on my TV right now it's like so shiny this may be the most beautiful book I own so what it says on the back is Sabotaged high wires, ravenous lines, and a demonic ringmaster, a circus without a safety net. Ben, the teenage son of a powerful government minister, attends an opening night and falls under the spell of Hoshiko, the tightrope walker and star attraction. But as he steps beyond the dazzling spectacle of the arena to reveal the horrors that lurk beneath, can he find the courage to resist, to rebel, to help end the cruelty and the carnage? Step right up for this heartbreaking and heart racing story. The darker the danger, the louder you'll scream. Can we just? That, it was all I needed to pick this book up and purchase it. It was the only one there, and I am so glad I took it home with me. The next book is one, if you know me, you know that this is one of my favourite series on TV, and I watched the entire series and hated the ending. But I have really wanted to read this series since I started the TV show, and that is. Darkly Dreaming Dexter by Jeff Lindsay. I just, I love Dexter, the TV show, so much. It's one of my all-time favourite TV shows I've watched so far. And I am so excited to read this book. Now, the books I ordered online. I'm going to start with the order I got today, because it's the most. And that is a complete series by Tony D. Talizzi and Holly Black. 
and that is the Spiderwick Chronicles paperback. So the first book is called The Field Guide, then have The Seeing Stone, Lucinda's Secret, The Ironwood Tree, and then finally The Wrath of the Mulgrass. I'm really really excited to get into these books. Uh, I absolutely love the movie, it's one of my favourite movies, definitely on my top 25 movie list, and I've never read the books, and I'm going to read them, I'm going to love them, I just know I will. The next book is Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. I really want to see the TV show, yeah, I really want to watch this, but I want to read it first, and I feel like I can enjoy this book. Now I saved my favourite one for last. This book came out in 2015 and he's got another book coming out next year. If you know me, you know that photography is one of my favourite hobbies and it's something I would want to do as a full-time career if I could. And the book in question is Keegan Allen's Life, Love, Beauty. I have waited since it came out or was announced for pre-order because I wanted to pre-order it but couldn't. I have waited so long to get my hands on this book and now I have it. I'm just... I just... I can't. Yeah, this is my favourite one out of all the books I've got. So that's it for this book haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I will see you next time with another video. Bye guys.